Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to be talking about uh, which LAN or which Ethernet cable uh, you should be using for your PS4. Okay, so um, the two types of cable we're going to be talking about is CAT5 and CAT6. Uh, there are other types of cable, there's CAT6A, there's CAT7, there's a, a couple of others actually, some sort of variations like uh, shielded etc. Um, but what we're going to be talking about in this video is just these two cables. Um, that's because these cables are basically the sort of standard cables these days. CAT5 is a slightly older one, CAT6 is a sort of new standard really. Okay, so the difference between these two cables is primarily um, their makeup in terms of the twists of the cable. So you can see this is CAT5 uh, here and this is CAT6. So you can see that the, so the twists on the cable itself on these pairs are much, uh, much tighter on the CAT5, okay, on the CAT6, sorry. So there's more cable per sort of centimeter or whatever uh, per distance than there is on the CAT5E. You can also see the CAT6 has a separator in it as well, so it stops the cables from actually touching each other. That's just a stop cross talk, um, basically, which means electricity passing through the cable in between the cables that shouldn't be. Okay, so that's the difference between those two cables. Um, in terms of speed, CAT5 is theoretically capable of um, 1000 megabits per second or um, gigabit speeds. Um, a gigabit per second. Um, CAT6 is capable of theoretically of 10,000 megabits per second um, and that's uh, 10, 10 gig per second basically. Okay so what is the PS4 capable of? Well the PS4 has a gigabit port so it has a thousand megabit port which basically means theoretically it's got the same speed as CAT5e. Okay so you might be thinking well if that's its top speed and cat 5 is at its top speed, then maybe I should get Cat6 because you know it's going to um, just in case it you know Cat5 isn't quite capable of that at longer distance or whatever it is. Um, so if you have kits Cat6, you might be a bit safer. Well, yeah, that is true. But let's think about this realistically, okay? What are the actual speeds that most people are getting on the internet in the UK? So the average speed in the UK is about 16.51 megabits per second, okay? So that's not everywhere in the country, but that's the average speed. So if you think that this cable, this little cable here, is capable of 1,000 megabits per second, and most people have 16.21, um, then it's it's miles ahead of where your, your internet connection probably is. Now, it is very common, uh, especially in the sort of more built-up areas, for Virgin to be around, and um, Virgin offers speeds of up to 350 megabits per second. So this cable would still be well within its capability. However, um, obviously it's, it would be slightly closer to that 1,000 megabits. Now in some places, such as York, they have gigabit internet speed. So this is where they have probably fibers to home, um, and they'll get speeds of over a thousand megabits per second. Now that is a very unusual at the moment. The UK government's plan is to get that in all over the country by 2033, but whether or not that'll happen, I'm not sure. But that is where the Cat5 might be being tested a little bit. Okay, remember, like I said, PlayStation 4 has got the same port speed, so it's going to be about the same. Um, but also, what what are you actually what are the requirements? So the, the PlayStation 4 might actually be capable of this, but what are the what are the sort of requirements of gaming on on that port? Okay, so if you're playing HD gaming on PS4 online, you will be using around 10, 10 megabits per second. Okay, so that is not even close to a thousand megabits per second that Cat5 requires. If you are doing 4K gaming, so if you've got a PS4 Pro and you're playing 4K gaming then you might be using up to 100 megabits per second. Okay, so that's a lot more, that's a lot more required on your internet. Obviously, if you have something like the Virgin or if you live in York, then you're gonna be you're gonna be absolutely fine with that. But if you're on 16.21 or whatever it is for the average, then you're gonna be struggling uh, to get to play 4K gaming on your uh, on your PS4. Um, so you've got to be a little bit sort of realistic about what you actually need. Now, what I would say is that the PS4 is, I think, on its way out. I think that PlayStation are going to be bringing out a new console fairly soon, or Sony, sorry, are going to be bringing out a PlayStation fairly soon. Um, so you might want to think about what is, what's the next stage? Where are we going with this? Well, Apple have just brought out uh, one of their computers that now has a 10 gigabit support. Um, so they're already thinking Cat6 capability rather than uh, Cat5. Um, and that would be a thousand, oh, sorry, ten thousand megabits per second capability. So if you are putting in a, you know, you're just running it from your router and you're just putting it straight in across the room, 
um, and it's nothing permanent, then use Cat 5e by all means, I would say. If you're going, you're actually putting stuff behind walls or behind skirting boards or wherever you're putting it, it's going to be more of a permanent fixture than use Cat 6 because Cat 6 is pretty much the standard. There's very little price difference between the two cables now. Um, and, you know, why not just run it in and then whatever the future consoles are, you're going to be able to uh, keep up to date with that with your, with your Cat 6. Um, I think it'll be a long time before the internet catches up with Cat 6. Um, so you're pretty much a safe bet. So I hope this uh, video has been useful. If you've got any comments, please leave them below. Um, if you like the video, then please like it. And why not subscribe to my channel? Thanks very much for watching. Bye.